Galaxy under the moon ah uh, the ace family sucks and they're bad and they they're bad and this is why they're bad all right you guys ready, ready. all right perfect dude you can literally see the demons in his face welcome back to our channel guys what's going on everybody ooh, ooh. look at my hair no good thing i don't have to no i'm gonna say it good thing i have to be on camera today okay god okay my hair looks fucked up i'm not feeling like this so just go. Okay. So the Ace family was recently exposed for promoting a scam to their eight-year-old audience. Sorry. So the Ace family was recently exposed for promoting a scam to their eight-month-old audience. Ace is so big. I thought I would take the opportunity for Austin McFadass and his uh, whore wife. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but since these two fuckers are in the news for being fuckers, I thought I'd take the opportunity to make a full video on why I do not like the Ace family. They smell like shit. Actually, let's take it a step further. I don't like the Ace family because they have... Are those Snapchat bitmojis on their YouTube banner? Austin McBroom. Oh, he's got the hand job. He's got the hand job hand. The action figure hand job hand. A few years ago, I looked at a family channel called The Royalty Family, and I made quite a few videos about them, and this was on a whole other channel, but um, they weren't even that bad, honestly, dude. Like, They just made some shit cringe videos for kids, and it was really fun to tear those videos apart. But that was that. They only made shit videos for kids. They weren't scamming their fans. They weren't just being all around fucking weirdos. And um, today, we're talking about a family channel that does scam their fans, and... That's kind of weird all around. The Ace Family channel, yay. I've heard about the Ace Family for a while now and I never really took a deep look at their channel. And today I'm gonna be taking a deep look at their channel by taking a deep look at their channel today. So let's take a look. Clickbaiting one of their children dying. Also, um, late disclaimer in the video, but obviously there's no ill will towards any of the children. Only ill will towards the uh, Austin McFat ass and his whore wife. Not sure what they said, but um, sure they did a good job, as always. <laughs> so today's video is a different type of video, obviously, as you read by the title. Um, I apologize in advance. Um, I'm a little under the weather, so if I'm sneezing or blowing my nose, I apologize. And so my baby will be doing... <laughs> that was the fakest shit I've ever seen. I apologize in advance. Um, I'm a little under the weather, so if I'm sneezing or blowing my nose, I apologize. You're not sick, you stupid idiot. So I think it's very obvious why this video is fucked up, but I want to look at their content later on in the video, and first of all, I want to touch on this scamming shit. And then later on in the video, we might even look at the cheating scandal. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So if you guys did not know, scams on YouTube have been probably one of the most popular uh, ways for a YouTuber to fuck up in all of YouTube fucking history, pretty much. The type of scam that Austin McBroom and the Ace family got themselves involved with is a scam called a Mystery Box. It's a popular trend that uh, started, from my knowledge, back with T. Martin and Pro Syndicate back in 2016. Except of experiencing the amazing sensation of having the chance, which you really don't have a chance, but having the chance of winning an iPhone or a fucking laptop or a car. <laughs> um, you had CSGO cases, CSGO keys, skins in this game called CSGO. I can talk about this for hours, but basically, T. Martin and Syndicate promoted to their audience a website in which they said they had no affiliation with that promoted gambling in Counter-Strike. They made videos of themselves winning thousand dollar knives and thousand dollar items, and oh my god, I put in ten dollars and I got a fucking ten million dollar- And then they got exposed for owning the site. <sighs> All right, guys. Now, the Ace family is involved in basically the same exact thing, except I'm not sure if they own the website or not that they're promoting. But more than likely, if not, they're taking a very large sum of money from the company to promote this fucking... I mean, it, it's just straight up bullshit to their five-month-old audience. Hey, Ace Busters, it's me, Austin McBroom. Do you guys want to win a car? A phone, maybe? Uh, you're only one year old. Don't worry about that. You can use it when you're older, kiddo. You can use it anytime you want. You want to win, though? You want to win? Watch us win. Please, please, please. Something good, please. An iPhone! Let's go! Holy shit, they want an iPhone 13. I mean, it seems easy enough. Mom, I need your credit card information. But I think promoting gambling to nine year olds is not the worst thing the Ace family could be doing. I mean, they could be molesting the nine year olds. <laughs> So 
so my boyfriend did a video where he was literally witnessing his wife give birth and he paid more attention to the vlog than his wife giving birth. It's a doozy of a video and I want you guys to all watch it with me because it demonstrates the pure passion and love that the Ace Family offers to us. All right, Ace Family, we got great news. Catherine is five centimeters dilated. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but we are in a different room. We are now in a delivery room. Bebe, give me the seat It looks like today is the day. Finally, guys, we have been waiting for this moment for like 10 months. <laughs> Anyone else think that kiss was hot as fuck? We're gonna give a trial push right now. Dude, if I wasn't paying too much attention, I would think he's the one with the vagina here. No, no. Take a deep breath. Alright, I'm sorry for pausing again so soon, but I haven't watched this video in like actual years, and he's focused more on getting a good thumbnail than his fucking wife, dude. Hold your breath. Push down. Go. Push, 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 push. Go, honey. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, you're a good pusher. Come on, baby. Come on. Look at that. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, go, go honey. Baby. Go, go, go. Oh, my Come goodness. On, One more time, honey. One more. Go. This just hurts to watch. I don't fuck with this shit. I don't know what video to watch next. We found a secret door in our new house, surprising my family with a brand new boyfriend. I got pulled over by the police. Catherine's gay. I mean, I guess to be honest, it doesn't really matter what video I watch because it's all just shit. Okay, so what I want to say is that people are saying we broke up. Oh my god, guys, people are saying we may have broken up. I know what to do. Let's play our family-friendly intro with our child at the beginning of it. You know, the family's in ruins. Our children, yeah, they might have to grow up with divorced parents or whatever the fuck. But hey, you know what, dude? Screw the children. I want our vlog to start off with that suspense. Hey, Ace Family! Welcome back to our channel, guys. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. As you guys know, we have just clickbaited you because everyone else always wants to clickbait you guys using the Ace Family name. Ace Family, as you all know, everyone always uses our name for views. Yeah. Every day. And so we decided to use our own name today for views. And to even spice it up, as you see in the thumbnail, we had that little squiggly line between us to get you guys' attention. We got you, didn't we? <laughs> we got you. Just like everybody else gets you, we got you. And now you're here listening. So, baby, what'd you like to tell them? Okay, so. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with this video. It's kind of hot. Um. <laughs> I have a new video for you guys because Austin McBroom has been exposed big time. Not only is Tana Mojo coming for Austin and getting her side of the situation, but an Instagram model and TikToker provided proof that Austin is a serial cheater and that his wife, Catherine, could care less. So let's get into it. Yippee. Is this Tana's lipstick? Austin says it is, and it wasn't. Tana goes into more detail and claims that she lied and said that it was her lipstick for the sake of the children. And she wrote, happy fight day, team Bryce on God. You guys already know that Austin was not about to sit there and allow Tana to trash his name. And I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys. Um, yeah, I agree with this guy. My hair looks fucked up. I'm not feeling like this. 